कोई कहो गए हम और तुम तो उड़ गई निंदे रे और खन की पायल मस्ती में तो कम गन खन के रे हम 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 सो माई आई थिंक आई वन इमर्स्ड इन म्यूजिक एवर सिंस आई कैन रिकॉल आई ग्रू अप विथ वेरी musically inclined parents who were not formally trained but um they have a great ear for music and i think my paternal side especially my dad's side everyone is just so musical they listen to the best quality music they listen to really old melodies um lata ji rafi sab mukeshi so i grew up listening to that my mom's got a great ear don't ever make her sing um so it started off with that and then after that um Yeah, people who I used to hang out with. So I was raised in Canada, uh, and I had a lot of Pakistani friends. So I was exposed to some fabulous Pakistani music there. I was listening to Coke Studio even before you know people knew about it over here, um, and and of course a lot of Pakhi pop. So um, I heard some beautiful bands with very interesting sounds, uh, and I think that's where um, that that kida for soul and for um, sound design kind of started coming in and then of course rahman sir happened uh and after hearing him i it just put everything into perspective for me so music's just been a part of what i've been doing and and then i used to start i, I started teaching i learned for about 7 8 years then there was a time when i used to practice for 10 hours a day uh then i had this i also had this thing where i wanted to learn the most difficult compositions so i would like to call myself to perhaps 90% self trained because i used to listen to a lot of hindustani classical um and i wanted to show off so i had this tendency where i really wanted to show people that see look at what i'm capable of singing so i used to pick up the most difficult songs and press rewind and play and rewind and play and rewind and play all night and memorize it and when you're young you're like a sponge right so everything just you just soak everything in and and i used to I used to work my butt off. <laughs> um I do remember musicindiaonline.com. Uh and then I used to put an aux cable and connect it to my cassette player <laughs> and record everything real time. Uh and memorize all that. And that really helped with my runs, that really so really difficult stuff. So um yeah, I did slog. Uh it didn't come just like that because I wasn't trained at that time. Later I went on to get you know get some formal training and and it, it was difficult in canada because you don't have too many teachers um over there to train so so music's just been there all the time i don't think hollywood has hollywood singers <laughs> like the industry itself That's yeah right um so i i never wanted to i never wanted to be a professional singer actually initially um I loved singing. I loved what I was doing and I was enjoying it. And um even 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 when it came to the glamour part of it, you know, there would be times where so I was known as a child prodigy there. <laughs> like it's like you know there's like five singers and you're one of them. <laughs> But a uh, small community, right? So I was super popular there. So you know you'd go into like a sabzi wa sabzi ki dukaan and you know people are are you know <laughs> and um So my ghar ka naam is Richa and that's the name in which my father used to organize shows for me Richa live in concert so everyone are going to chai with going to chai so I I grew up seeing that so for me it wasn't even that that ever made me feel that ha theek hai aaj char log pehchante hain kal you know 4000 log pehchane so it was never about that but um I think I was enjoying the process it was after I heard Rahman sir that I kind of uh felt that inke liye gaana hai yaar and i think it was more than singing for the movies it was like initially it was it was that in ke liye this is who i want to sing for and then later it it kind of evolved and then i started wanting to sing for the movies and you know wanting to give a uh, voice to superstars <laughs> i don't remember the very first so i think i think i got a mirchi music award for a tamar song that i'd sung and that was the very first tamar song i sang for a monster um after that uh it just it's like you know it's like a domino effect um things started happening and god's been very kind he's i mean you know 
just how things started unfolding, opportunities started unfolding. Um, then, I guess, after, after a succession of awards in Tamil, then the awards kind of uh, transferred to the Hindi industry because I started getting hits over here. Um, and, uh, and, which is ironic because I'm not Tamilian, I'm, I'm Kashmiri. <laughs> um, so how do you learn Tamil? I don't know Tamil. I just listen and I replicate what I hear. So. And that applies to all the languages I sing in. It's like about 12 languages, but I just listen to what people are saying and I'll sing it. Uh, so then I got, I got two or three Mirchi Awards last year for my Hindi songs. Uh, and then I guess, and then the National Award and the Film Fair happened. Um, again, which I'm very, very grateful for. Um, of course, Rahman sir has been highly instrumental in this and Mithun, of course, because um, I got I got a Mirchi Music Award for Phir Bhi Tumko Chahunga from Half Girlfriend. So uh, everything just kind of, you know, worked out on its own. So it, it's great getting awards, but I mean, I think it should be taken as something, it, it shouldn't be a parameter for what you do. Uh, I think continue doing what you love doing and a lot of times people still congratulate me and I forget what they're congratulating me about because, you know, I've kind of kept it behind me and it's like, aage kya? Yeah. So I think that's really important. I think, you know, it's, it's like, um, it's like you do something, you, you, for example, if I were to sing a song and there was no one to listen to it, how would that feel? There's two sides to that. Yeah. Number one, I mean, you've made a great song and you know, you feel great that you've made a great song. Yeah. But then, or you've sung a great song. But then the other side of it is that you want someone to come and tell you that, you know, that's a great song. <laughs> or, you know, you did a good job. And it's human yeah. to feel that way. So for me, I think that's, that's the kind of job that awards do for you. Mm -hmm. you. You sing a song and someone comes and tells you that, you know what, here's an award for this because you did a good job. I think in a way, it's, it's very motivating. I think that that's, it's just one more factor that pushes you to you know, do your best. Yeah. And I think it saves you from mediocrity. I think that's, that's a very positive way of looking at it. And I usually, I don't look at negative in anything. <laughs> uh, they gave me a break. Okay, so I'm not too sure about uh, what you imply by break because my very first Hindi song uh, was with T series. It was a big banner, Priya Darshan, uh, Darshil Safari from Tare Zami. But uh, the name of the movie was called Bam Bam Bole, yeah. and the song was with Clinton and Kirti Sagatia. Uh, so for me, it's very relative. I think for me that was a huge break because I really love Clinton. Um, I used to listen to his, his work when he was working um, and arranging for Rahman sir. I used to listen to him since then, which was like 20 years ago, <laughs> like a long time ago, um, 15, 20 years ago maybe. And uh, singing a duet with him, for me, that was a huge break. All that happened. So it's, I think your big break kind of, it's, it's a very relative question. But um, if you talk on the basis of popularity, um, I would say that my big break would have to be the biggest hit. Maximum YouTube views, hamma. <laughs> Hands down. Obvious answer. <laughs> it, it has, see, the thing is that you, there's no, I can't deny that it's him, you know. There can be a lot of influences, there can be a lot of people who've um, and there are a lot of people who've influenced me as a musician, but it have answer. It's it's not just after having worked with him. It's um, Since the beginning. yeah. It's it's growing up listening to his music, which twenty million people have <laughs> done. But it's it's also about the way you vibe with someone's work, you know, and. And I can only talk from a very personal level, and I'm sure a lot of people would agree with this, which is that you listen to his work and or you listen to his music, and there are there are various phases you go through, and especially in that teenage, you know, uh, 
age. Um, so especially in that teenage uh, age, you, you go through, um, there's so many, uh, there's so many angles to emotions that you go through. There's so many emotions you see, there's so many, uh, you go through dilemmas, you go through a lot of physiological changes, you go through a lot of emotional changes. And I feel uh, on every front there has been a song to influence or to pull me out of a particular situation, or to uh, accentuate a particular situation that I was going through, uh, the good ones. So I think for every occasion, Ray Monster was just there. You know, you, you're in a really, really crap mood, and you know, there's a song that'll go with it, you know? You know, you have, ooh, you have that going, or you know, body shorty, and you know, you have tal si tal and you know, it's just, there's like phases, and you, and you can relate. 